I would like to call upon Dr. M.K. Srinivasan, family physician. Please come, sir. Thank you, sir. Distinguished members in the days, respected colleagues and dearest friends assembled in the audience, I am extremely thankful to the organizers, especially Professor Zivika Reddy, for having invited me and at the same time included my name as one of the awardees. I know, compared to other distinguished doctors assembled here, I am only a graduate, I can tell you. But I am a graduate with 66 years of experience in the profession. The only profession that does not become, a, what shall I say, Sabe, you are not, you are not, uh, dis you, you don't become dissatisfied with the profession. Or at the same time you want to change your profession. Medical profession is the only thing where till the last breath in your life you will feel like continuing to serve. It is because you are dealing with the human beings. That is the most important thing. It doesn't mean the other professions are different. But medical profession alone, since you are dealing with the human beings, you are always interested. A doctor is always interested in trying to do the best to the patient till it is physically possible or become physically impossible for him to do it. As a matter of fact, I personally feel that every doctor should be a generalist. He must be a generalist. That is, he must know something about the basics of all branches of medicine. Then, then only he will be able to ex do proper service to the patient. As Professor Reddy said, communication skill is most important. That is because I not only communicate with the patients for pro probably half an hour or more, but at the same time, I draw a picture of his complaint and also what we are planning to do. At the same time, what you should do, you should integrate yourself with the family. A patient's family, you know, as a matter of fact, I would not like to call a patient, a patient as a patient. I would like to call him a professional client because nobody likes to be introduced as a patient. I call him as a professional client. As a professional client, if you introduce to somebody else, they will know that uh, you would not like to be introduced as my patient. So a professional client must be the way. And when you talk to your client, you must exhibit all the skills that you have, especially in the matter of communication. Any number of times, if the patient asks questions, you must be able to answer. You should never lose temper. That is the most important thing. You must integrate with the family. You should call them by their name, by their name, not calling name, call them by their name. So that once you call a professional client by his name, he feels so happy. He feels so much elated, so much related to you that he is so happy and he, 50% as Professor Reddy said, 50% of the cure is only talking and convincing the patient that he is not having a serious problem and even if he has a serious problem, that is correctable. So that is what I would like to emphasize on this occasion that even though I may be only a graduate, I am a generalist. I am still operating at the age of 91, operating for two and a half hours at a time. And I am also a physician because, and at the same time, I am a general practitioner also. 
Even now, I am giving injections myself and I don't have a nurse to give injection. What I started 65 years back, I am still continuing and improving on that for the benefit of the society and the suffering people. Service before self should be the motto of every medical professional. Your, your self is different, but at the same time, the satisfaction that the patient gets, a sick man comes walking, unable to walk, and he goes back walking, his smile, his satisfaction is the greatest reward for what we are deserving. So I wish I am able to continue this service. I don't know how long. Uh, whatever it may be, I do not know. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I, it is so nice of you. I don't know how long, but whatever it may be, it is my wish that I should continue till the last breath in my life, service to the aggrieved people, service to the people who are in dire distress, not only professional, but you must also help them to the extent possible, financial. Professor Reddy is doing a human service. He is always very calm, always smiling. I have had an occasion to listen to him in public health center for a clinical meeting, he addressed a clinical meeting, and also I have attended the meetings of Tampa. So the point is, his composer is the most important. You should never get angry with the patient. That is the most important thing that you should do. You see, you, a patient, one minute, a patient, we go to income tax office or we go to even post office. We are all educated people. Are we able to fill up all the details in, in money order form? It is not possible. We don't know how to fill it up. We sign wherever the postman wants us to sign. Go to the income tax office. We cannot fill up the income tax forms. We need an auditor. When that be the case with educated people like us, what will be the position of illiterate patients who come there? They have left thousands of questions and you must patiently answer the questions. And that is, that is my wish and that is what I would like to do and I am very, very grateful for the organizers for having given me the opportunity and also given me the reward for what little I have done to society. Thank you.